Good morning. Well, it's lockdown Saturday. I think we're about six weeks in, and uh, Boris has said we're allowed out to play uh, within reason. So uh, I'm local. We're on the Long Min, if you haven't already recognised it. Won't recognise that chap over there. He's a good four metres from here, I reckon. So, uh, so we're doing our exercise. Nothing exciting, no wild camping, I'm afraid. Um, but we're going for a bimble over the Long Mind. Nothing energetic, because we're also out of condition. Um, but uh, we're hoping for a little bit of colour in the sky in a minute. Uh, we'll just show you some time lapses and a bit of drone footage and just going for a little bimble around the top of the long mind. Plan B, if for some reason it suddenly gets busy, we'll just abandon it and go. Um, but we'll see. I was expecting hordes of people to suddenly swarm onto the long mind because they can't go to Wales, but uh, they reckon. That wouldn't happen and I think he's probably right. So we'll see. We have come early, mind. It is still only uh, quarter to seven. So uh, I believe you've got some bacon and eggs, haven't we, Dave, later? Oh, yes. Ah, <laughs> so uh, we won't go hungry. We never do, but we're going to be going home stuffed. So uh, we're up to Pole Bank. Have a look, see if there's a bit of a sunrise to view. See you in a bit. Callow Hill. We're going to go up there for a little brew, take it all in. We'll have some fantastic views down into Church Stretton from there. Okay, well, the sun's out, so things are looking up. Uh, we're just at the base of Callow Hill now. They steaming ahead, so we're more than two metres, look. And uh, I'm just going to puff and pump my way up there. Bloody hell! So I'm glad we're not camping. We had to lug all that shit up here. This is bad enough. Oh, Church Stretton, Ragliff, Kerkerada. Can remember that? There's a lolly at the back. Oh, I can see it all today. Don't worry, I let it all the breathing out.
Here we are, summit of Callow Hill. This is a cracking spot. So don't all come here, it's ours. But look at that. Review. This is where we were. Stargazing and oh, I think Rich drunk half a bottle of whiskey. 12 year old. <laughs> He's 12 year old, his favourite. Uh, Joss camped somewhere down near Ludlow, down there. <laughs> and uh, we we're all here nattering. We'll be back when, it, when the time is right. Actually, this is the first destination on our list. Uh, when, when it's right, we want to come here and just be together and just have a chat and be mates. And uh, yeah, it's kind of. Uh, Kind of needed it really. We've all been having our little get-togethers on the on the on the Zoom meetings, pretty much every night actually. But uh, it's not the same. Good to be out with this with this goon today. <laughs> <laughs> break there and it's still only 5 to 10 in the morning um, yes Callow Hill served us well coffee there looking at the view putting the world to rights guess what we talk about when we got five minutes filming drones and YouTube <laughs> you might not be surprised at that right we're gonna uh, windle our way back to the car we're gonna swap the Phantom out for the uh, spark and some cooking kit and uh, go down to the gliding station and have a look down that end make sure that's still there uh, and have our well late early lunch late breakfast they call that lunch. brunch don't they in the real world yeah Longmin's looking lovely because we're here in spring aren't we in all the times you've probably seen this before it's been towards the back end of the year tailing off it's all green and healthy now apart from me Track back up to Pole Cottage, which is just over that brow there. Uh, let's get back to the cars and adjust the kit. But, uh, it's saying, bloody hell, I am feeling it. So out of condition. Blame me kidneys. I think that's what's caused it all. Really, it's slowed me up. But, uh, got to have an excuse, isn't you? And then it's off for brunch. It's a cracking day. Weather's on our side, a little bit breezy, but that's actually uh, cooling me down. Well, change of plan. We said we'd avert if we had to, and uh, we've just got down to the gliding club, and it's rammed. They're having a bloody festival by the looks of it. Got groups of them, paragliding, everybody watching, cars rammed. There's even a caravan down here somewhere. Somebody's brought their caravan up the Long Mind. I mean, I wouldn't do that any other time, but... <laughs> so, and there were some other goons up by Pole Cottage. It was a white car when we got there, and uh, obviously we were early, and uh, it was already there, beer cans round it. And we just got back to the car, and there's like five utes, um, scruffy buggers. Uh, 
there's only way you can camp round here, mate. And I uh, thought, no, no, you definitely can't camp round. Obviously, they already did. Uh, probably just slept in the field or something. So, no, we're uh, we're going to go and find somewhere quiet and uh, have our bacon sarnie somewhere isolated. It's mental. This is Goon with his caravan. Pulled it up with an Astra. Jesus Christ. Funny enough, I was looking on the uh, Facebook page yesterday um, to see if the Burway was actually closed. I thought, wondered if the police might have just decided to close the three roads coming up here just to keep the numbers down. And uh, there was a little conversation going on about paragliding and whether they should be doing it. And the general consensus was no, because if you have an accident, uh, you're going to involve loads of emergency services which have got a bit of a job on their hands at the moment and uh, and they're all here loads of them and all the spectators so oh, rant over but Christ <laughs> update just seen a police car going down there so uh, I expect there'll be a bit of a sorting out going on I hope so too Ah, so we've been that plan. We're at Shooting Box and uh, well, I say it's 20 past 11 and I think it's going to be a, well, we've just been that idea off. So Dave, the chef, is on the bacon butties, so we're not leaving that bit out. <laughs> I'm in charge of beverages, so we're getting a pot on there and uh, we're going to have that and put the world to rights a bit more. Not that it's had not been put right a lot already. and. Uh, and we'll head back. While I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, a couple of shout outs. Uh, apart from obviously Dave Outdoors here, and I hope you all know Rich from Wild Astro, but a couple you might not know. Um, my mate Stewie, he has been a saint, uh, and he's walking lots of routes around Clibbury and posting them onto a, a new YouTube channel. And it's generally, um, he's done it for the elderly to start with but it's actually applied to a lot of people uh, that are in isolation uh, so it's walks around Clearbury Mortimer which is where I grew up and um, he's filmed them and showed you the route and other people are joining in and doing the same routes so big shout out to Stewie and uh, and Davey Boy he's a new kid on the block he joins us in the chat sometimes uh, he's getting into wild camping and a bit of gear and uh, he's called uh, is he Davy Boy? Davy Boy's Wild Adventure, I think. Yeah, Dave, something like that. Or David Perslow is his actual name. Um, I think you can find him on... Um, I don't know, I'll probably stick your link in there anyway. But uh, yeah, I'll run over and uh, show him some love. And, uh, and, and have a look at his stuff. Lucky look. Bacon butty. Right, ladies and gents, I'm going to sign off here. Um, so we've changed our plans, but you have to adapt to the situation, don't you? That's all about the outdoors. Uh, and the, there's quite a few people coming and going around here now, so I think we're going to clear off. Stay safe, stay alert and all that. Head on over to Dave's channel, because uh, the maniac's just had his spark up. <laughs> I've just been doing some brilliant flying just over here. and uh, So go and check that out, that'll be well worth a watch. I was too, too chicken and left mine in the bag so uh, you'll have to look at his channel for that so hope you're all well and um, yeah we're gonna go for now we'll just keep doing the bimbles I think and uh, just see how things go so thank you for watching see you on the next one busy busy I'm very glad we came up here at the crack of dawn and it's uh, just gone 12 and we're going home a virus hotspot now, isn't it? <laughs>